All right, let's start over. Uh, mic check. I think our mic's working, but you'll have to tell me. Hi, kiddo. All right, you can play over there. I'm going to start over here. You decide if you want to come in here. Um, there we go. I'm sitting pretty close here. Let's make sure that we've got the cameras all looking okay. All right. Well, I can't see too well from here, but it looks good enough. Hi, cutie. Hi, is your kid going to come in here too? Okay. I think everything should be going okay. Mostly. Sound check, one, two. Yeah, okay, that looks like it's working. Doesn't look like it's overwhelming. Let's see what you guys think. Here we go. The sound sounds good. Okay, fantastic. All right, well, uh, nothing happened this week. No, I'm kidding, of course. Uh, we've got four new kittens. They're wonderful. Uh, Hazelnut and her four kittens seem super healthy. Um, the healthiest class we've had in a while. It's nice to finally get uh, a mom cat and her kids that, that don't seem like they've got any issues so far. Uh, normally, by this point, we're at least seeing mom having a URI and bad poop, but uh, in her case, she's been fantastic. Now, she did have bad poop the last day, um, but that's because of the uh, mom cat special that we've been feeding her. It always causes bad poops, so I'm not feeding her that now. She's just on the regular new low. Um, but uh, other than that, everything with them has been fantastic, and that was sort of something we just caused, so no big deal. Uh, as for these two, they seem like they're doing very well, too. I've noticed a lot less yelling from uh, our little poopy bud over there. And that's good news, I think. Maybe she's sort of starting to grow out of her issue. Um, but we've already scheduled for her. Uh, September 9th is when she's going to get her spay. And at her spay, uh, they're going to do a little bit more investigation there to see why she seems to have so much trouble. So we've got until then to see whether she continues to have so much trouble. Uh, which will, you know, be interesting, I guess. And then the only other thing that's important is uh, we got to get Cash adopted. And I know uh, I'll have to do some close-ups with him or something to sort of get people's attention on him. But he's a real sweet boy. And uh, he really needs somebody that uh, can play with him and hang out with him. And uh, he's a little, he's very independent at this point, I should say. Um, you know, he kind of does his own thing all day long. And so he won't be too much burden on anybody. But then... He also likes to come and sit in your lap and snuggle on his terms, you know, and uh, he can be very snuggly. And of course, he loves to play just like any kitten his age would do. So uh, he's going to have a lot of energy and just be, he's going to be a great little kitten for somebody. He, I was saying to TJ this morning how much he reminds me of Ari when Ari was that age, where Ari was also very independent. And, uh, you know, you kind of have to uh, let him come to you on his terms at the time. But now that he's grown up, Ari has just become a big old snuggle bunny that wants attention all the time. So um, I, I imagine that um, little Cash is going to be real similar to that. Uh, so good. Anyway, if you know anybody who's looking for a wonderful little gray and white kitty, uh, Cash is definitely... We just, we just need to get some Cash apps in here, you know? All right. Uh, and you can apply on our website, of course, kitten.academy. Let's see what we've got for mail. Now, this one was already open, so let's take a look. It's uh, on the outside, kindly deliver to, uh, wow, shades of uh, Bioshock there. Advice from a ladybug, spot new opportunities, spend time in your garden, be well-rounded, enjoy the wonders of nature, don't let the small things bug you, keep family close by, be simply beautiful. Well, that's good advice all around. Oh, and you sent a donation here. I'm just going to put that right into our little box. Thank you very much. Uh, there's a picture of Teaspoon in here, a sticker of Teaspoon, in fact, I believe. Mr. A and DJ, please have a tea party for special Teaspoon with the enclosed money. Oh, I see. Thank you so much, Ginger Cat Lover, sending for a special tea party. That's fantastic. How sweet of you. And this is like a really nice, I think it's a vinyl sticker. It has to be a sticker, right? It's not just a vinyl teaspoon. That wouldn't make any sense. Uh, I was going to try to peel off the corner to make sure it was a sticker, but I'm having some manual dexterity issues trying to get my thumbnail in there. So we'll just save it for later. But that's, that's wonderful. A tea party for teaspoon. Oh, he'll love it. 
You know what's really funny about Teaspoon is uh, when DJ, DJ and I order out food fairly often because we tend to be very busy and uh, it, you know we'll frequently just sort of run out of time to make anything, which is a shame because I love to cook. Um, but uh, every single time that we order takeout food and we've got up on, you know, we eat up in the bedroom and we've got the bag uh, and we just take, you know, taking all the food out of the bag, teaspoon is in that bag every time. No matter where we've ordered from, it's not like he prefers some sort of food bag over the other. He just loves getting in that bag and playing. And uh, Cash also plays with him that way where a teaspoon will get in the bag and then Cash will get on the outside and they'll sort of attack each other through the bag and it's a real good time. I'm thinking of that because it happened last night, and I was saying, you know, what a good time that is for him. Um, and, you know, also it's a tea bag, so, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, so thank you so much for that. I will tell DJ that now um, she needs to throw a little tea party for Teaspoon. All right. Uh, let's see here. Next up, we have a couple cats wearing pineapple hats of all the things. And it says, when you're with your furry butts and nonsense ensues. Look at that. I, want, I just am amazed at some of the things that seem so on point for us. And uh, yet they just exist out there in the world. Happy birthday to my favorite furry butt. I see. So this must be, um, is, is it Teaspoon's birthday? And we didn't know because I, this morning when I picked up the mail, I was looking at it and I'm like, wow, a lot of these letters seem to be from like alumni and people. And there's a, there's a larger number than usual. And I said to DJ, I said, did I, did I forget some event? Is it, you know, somebody's, is it an anniversary of something? And she was like, no, I don't, I don't think so. So neither one of us could figure it out this morning, but we were trying. Now I'm starting to get it, I think. Um, I don't know if that's where we're going to go with this, but uh, this says happy birthday to an Eddie butt, but I'm getting ahead of it. So hello, Eddie butt, Dr. DJ, Mr. A, and all the other furry butts. Hope you and DJ are doing well. Uh, let's see, what am I doing here? Uh, happy birthday, my favorite fur, furry butt. Okay. Um, Hazelnut, hopefully you pew-pewed out uh, cute little furry butts by the time this letter arrives to headquarters. K.A. Khan was great. We didn't go this year, but hopefully next time. When you dressed up as the shiny butler who was serving Nulo, that was totally unexpected and very funny. The Jackson Galaxy cameo was even more unexpected and really cool. Whoever thought of that idea was great. Are you and DJ watching any of the Olympics? We're watching swimming and gymnastics and a few other sports too. We were hoping they might have a new sport called Floppy Fish Fanatics Butterfly Madness with Bessie Boopers. Don't take my shrimp with millet. But last but not least, uh, my favorite, oh no, my cookies with multiple furry butts. Alas, none made the cut this, at this year's Olympics, maybe in the next four years. I'm sure that all the faculty would win golds in their respective sports. How to get the right comfy position with custard. How to get the perfect floof with Maggie. Where to find and see all the ghosts in your house with Ari. How to lick a kitten properly with Logan Bunny. How to wear blue sunglasses with Teaspoon and drive a convertible in Connecticut. And last but not least, how to get just the right sunlight on those emerald green eyes with Eddie Butt. Happy birthday to an Eddie Butt. Hope he gets a few extra treats and gets to rest in one of his brown bears and to have fun playing with the toys that he likes. Anyway, Eddie Bud, however you spend your birthday, hope it is possum. My mom and I are going out to dinner to celebrate your birthday and then going for ice cream. I will get a mint chocolate chip to match your emerald green eyes. From Jess and Diane from PA. Well, Jess and Diane from PA, thank you so much for the wonderful letter. We're not actually watching the Olympics. I, I only kind of realized that it was even happening now that you mention it. I, I know the, some of the podcasts I listen to have talked about watching it a little bit. Uh, I don't know why we're not watching it. I guess we should probably tune in and check it out a little bit. Um, lately, uh, I have, and this is just... I I can't say that I actually really enjoy watching it, but you know, a lot of the time DJ and I aren't so much watching TV as we've sort of got it on in the background while we're each doing our thing. Um, we've both been playing a lot of video games lately. DJ plays on her phone and then I play, uh, you know, the real video games. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we'll both be sort of like hanging out together doing that with the TV on in the background. And the thing that we've had on most lately is, uh, um, uh, Hell's Kitchen, the Gordon Ramsay show, though, and we were all the way back. We started with like we found that they have all of the seasons on the Disney um, uh, streaming service. So I just started it at season one, which was twenty over twenty years ago. Can you imagine that? Twenty, 
years ago. Uh, actually, I don't think it was 20 years ago, but it's like 20 seasons ago, which is weird because I, I was checking the date on one of the seasons. Let's see if I do the math. No, it was almost exactly 20 years ago then, I think. Um, so it's crazy watching uh, anything that's 20 years old TV at this point. It's so weird. Uh, reality shows then were not as different as I maybe would like, <laughs> but uh, but the first couple seasons were in that 4-3 aspect ratio like the old televisions were, and that's weird. I don't know why I'm talking about this. I guess that's your ramble spot on your bingo card. Uh, anyway, I didn't realize it was Eddie's birthday, and uh, I guess that would make him, Is it? you guys will have to tell me, is he 10 years old now? Is this his big 10? I think it would be, but I'm so always wrong on that stuff. I don't want to promise that that's the case. Uh, anyway, his favorite toy, as far as I know, is still is still the um, that uh, the wire with the cardboard on it, the whatever you call that, the cat it, the cat it, not cat it, cat. Um, uh, you guys know the one I mean. Anyway, so we'll have to break that out for him today for sure. Okay, uh, Kitten Academy mailbag. It's got birthday balloons on it, so I can now, I, now I know what's going on. I best I get, I think we can guess what this is about. A boot. Uh, this says, Sophie watching a deer in the yard. Wow, she looks very intent, and what a nice cat run you've got. That's, uh, that's wonderful. With a little bench in it for her to sit on. How wonderful, how cute. Oh, there's the deer. Ah, oh, the deer watching Sophie. That's even more fun. Look at that. Oh, I hope you guys can see this. Okay, Sophie watching a deer. And then the deer watching Sophie is what really makes it. That's so funny. <laughs> all right, let's see what this is about. Hi to all the cats at Kitten Academy. Oh, I'm also supposed to say hi to Mr. A and DJ and the watchers too. Why? They're humans and KA is about cats. Mom says it's our turn to write in because the mailbag needs more letters. She even promised to type it, saying our handwriting is even worse than hers. What, you can't read paw print, only typed print? I thought you knew all about cats. Anyway, here's today's story. Sophie's big adventure. We were sitting on the enclosed back porch on a warm day enjoying lunch. Suddenly, Sophie went into hunting attention mode. See first photo. This alerted mom and me to a rustling in the bushes at the back of the yard. When a deer emerged and walked to the house to nibble on daylilies, I rushed over to the closest corner of the porch to keep an eye on her. Uh, the deer, that is. Sophie stayed frozen in her ready-to-pounce pose. She looked as if she wanted to pounce right through the wire mesh at the deer. Silly Sophie. She's tried that before and just ends up climbing up the wire, never getting out. Soon, the deer wandered over to the porch and looked in on us. See the second photo? Then she wandered off again, calm as could be, showing she wasn't scared by us tiny tigers. Sophie and I have, have seen deer in the yard a few times. Once a big one came to lick bird seed from the feeder. Well, that's all from here. I hope you have more kittens by the time you get this letter. Love from Toby and Sophie and M. Hobbit. M. Hobbit, thank you so much. These are wonderful photos, and that's a very cute story. I know the sighting of a deer must be so exciting for them. Uh, we just had one in our yard the other day. They, they wander around here fairly often, too, although I don't often see them over by the cat run. They tend to go through our front yard, uh, strangely enough. I guess that's where most of the neighborhood is. Uh, they actually wander down the street to various people's houses. It seems very strange to see deer, like, you know, in the street area uh, but it's a very quiet street it's not like anybody's gonna hit them on this street they just uh, it's it's you know uh, not a lot of traffic out here especially on our dead-end cul-de-sac so uh, it's cute though all right here we go uh, this appears to have a bunch of owls on it so I have an idea whom whom this may be from all right and it's thick too, so it's, uh, that's uh, just more evidence. We've got a novel here. So, let's see. Uh, the following has been transcribed from remarks from Rafter's Gabe's Twin Skyscraper. Sky... <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, some grammar and usage has been corrected. All right. Uh, let's see here. I am going to try to get all this handwriting. Dear Foster Butler, New Human says it's been a week since we came to live in northeastern New York, so we should let you know how we're doing. PJ and I are great. She's getting bigger by the day. In another week, I bet she won't even fit under the TV stand she hid under our second day here. 
I might be shrinking, but it's okay. I fit much better on new human's lap when she's on the serious chair. That's the less comfy seat where she has to sit up straight, talk to someone I can't see, and do things with her hands that aren't petting me. I like the snuggle chair much better. It's almost like the beanbag chair, just a little more shaped. New human sleeps there a lot. When she's in the snuggle chair, a hammock comes out at the end of it. The hammock makes noise that startled me the first few times it came out, but now I recognize it and ask human if I can hop up. She always says yes, but then she changes her mind like three hours later and she calls me silly. The best thing about the hammock is that new human has to stretch really far to move me. A couple of times, she just gave up and let me sleep. New human's home is way different from Kitten Academy. It's a lot smaller and there are all kinds of new noises. Most of them are fine. It's been fun to watch all the cars, but I hope that water thundering against all the walls and windows doesn't happen again. Um, the past, the part where New Human had to bring in all the bird feeders was good because I got to snoop all kinds of outside smells. But PJ and I hated each pass over the windows. So noisy and scary to see all that water headed straight for us. Even though this place is smaller, there's still room to run around and play. There was a tower near the bird feeders when we got here, and I helped New Human put together a new one. At least I did until she started talking real loud with little words. Something about not being six feet tall. I don't get what's so bad about being short. Anyway, the second tower goes all the way up to the ceiling. I love to climb all the way up, but down is, uh, is harder. New human got grabby the first couple times I was figuring it out. I showed her I could do it, though, and now she mostly leaves me alone. Well, not alone, of course. She's always here, actually, and it's real weird. She's never on the other side of a door. I can follow her anywhere, and I do. Her lap is real warm and soft, and she tells me how pretty and cute I am whenever I'm falling asleep on her. Sometimes I share the lap with pajamas. New human makes these weird squeaky noises when we snuggle or groom each other. I checked... And she's fine. It's just her version of DJ's happy noises. New human does play with us when she gets up and before she goes to bed. It's never long enough for me, and I think she wants to keep playing too. Especially in the morning. I tried to tell her she doesn't have to go to the serious chair, but she always does. It's silly. She's so much happier playing or snuggling with me and PJ. New human said to thank you for looking after me and PJ until she could come adopt us. I told her how we brightened your day and made you happier too, but she said we still needed to say thank you. I guess some kittens don't get to grow up in such nice homes with climbing walls, all those toys, and some such nummy food and treats. New Human says our time at Kitten Academy made us wonderful, loving, happy kittens. I do want to thank everyone who sent things to come home with us. We have so many fun things to play with or lie on, and New Human says there are lots more. It was real generous of people we don't know to give, all, uh, to give us things. New Human said she'll never have to buy us toys so she can spend her money on treats instead. Yes, please, I like treats. New Human doesn't like to give us churu straight out of the tube, though, since I stole the tubes just, two just the two times. She usually squeezes it out on the top of our food. She did get the memo about scattering crunchies for us, I get to eat a lot more here because I only have to share with PJ. We both love crunch time and come running when we hear the bag open. So far, we like our new home and our new human servant. It's a lot different, but we like having the human to ourselves, and we don't have to teach her too much about what we like. I hope you're doing well and that you don't miss us too terribly. Love and spoogles. Rafter. <laughs> That's so cute. Uh, thank you for writing that. That's a wonderful story. Uh, I love everything from Rafter's perspective. All right, now we've got uh, another note here. Dear Mr. A, seriously though, thank you so much. Whoop, hi, thank you. Uh, thank you so much for devoting so much of your time and attention to the raising of these kittens. I love pajamas and Rafter so, so much. they considerably brightened a year that threatened to be one of my worst. They're both so snuggly, so curious, and Rafter is so bold. Pajamas is shyer, but her confidence grows as she learns that strange new noises aren't a threat, and she becomes familiarized to my routines and movements. The twice daily play sessions have really brought her out, uh, brought out both their personalities. Rafter is tenacious and has endless energy, and Pajamas is capable of amazing leaps. I've also been learning 
Rafter is almost as much of a food fiend as Gable. She tries to stick her nose in anything with cheese and tried stealing my pizza last night. Her big, bold personality in such a tiny kitten is hilarious to me. My thanks, too, to the Discord community. Their warmth and support means the world to me. Sometimes I felt they were almost as excited as I was about being approved to adopt these two. And whenever I wonder if I'm sharing too many pics of my girls, I have a flood of heart reacts saying otherwise. They're just so photogenic. And of course, thank you to everyone who sent in endowments. I watch Mailbag most Saturdays, so I had a vague notion of what to expect. But my girls are completely spoiled. Before I had my chance to do it, uh, before, oh, I see, completely spoiled before I had a chance to do it. The generosity of KA fans all around the world is unbelievable. Last but not least, I do want to express my thanks to my friend Sam, who joined Discord as Sierra Rose 518 She was a huge help leading up to my adopting pajamas and rafter, and she was so excited for me when I was approved. She took a day off from her many obligations to get me to KA when my car's air conditioning is broken. And she was a huge help with getting me out the door in time. Then she took care of all the carrying and heavy lifting so I could focus on just being happy to take my kittens home. Uh, I'm so glad so many of the cats and kittens at KA recognized what a warm, caring person Sam is right off the bat and gravitated to her. She was thrilled with Ari plunking himself beside her for pets and utterly charmed by Custard climbing onto her and clinging for dear life. <laughs> Cats can pick up people's vibe pretty quickly, and Sam definitely exudes a welcoming, safe one. Uh, I feel so fortunate to be part of the KA community, to have my snuggle support, and to have such amazing, supportive friends. Thank you for being such an integral part of everything happy and good in my world. Fondly, Alice the Owl. Alice, thank you so much. What a wonderful note. Um, I, I really enjoyed meeting you and your friend Sam as well. Um, I was just super impressed by, uh, like you say, how well both of you got along with all the cats, and um, I just knew that you were going to be a fantastic adopter, so I'm glad everything is going so well for them. Uh, it's, just, it's just wonderful to see. You can never post too many photos. That's why it's called alumni spam, you know. Uh, we, we want all of it. We want all the photos that we can possibly get. Uh, it's, uh, it's wonderful to see those kids, so thank you very much. All right, next up, this is from Diane G. Squiggle and Squall, it says. And on the inside, oh, we got a very cute lineup of adorable kittens with funny faces. Uh, let's see, I'll show that to you first. And then on the inside, it says, hello, uh, wait, Mr. A and Dr. DJ and everyone else. Hello from Cleo, formerly Squiggle, and Calliope, formerly Scrawl. We're going to be three years old soon. How crazy is that? Whoa, that is crazy. Scrawl uh, doesn't seem like three years old. Oh, man. Uh, we don't act older, though, and still love to play. Mom is going to write the rest of the letter. Cleo is a bit naughty and is a food thief. Uh, she loves chicken, tuna, beef, turkey, etc., but also loves lettuce, carrots, steamed, but not raw, broccoli. She also loves bread and chips. She eats all of her food, then she tries to eat calliopes. I have to step in because calliope just lets her barge right in. Cleo's a lap kitty and spends as much time in my lap as she can. Oh, you guys need to see all this tunnel play. This is some pretty fun stuff. Hang on. Let's just move this out of the way a little bit. Okay. Hopefully that'll make it more visible. Um, where was I? Um, Cleo's a lap kitty and spends as much time in my lap as she can. She's very talkative and meows, trills, etc. We have entire conversations sometimes. She's friendly to all and not scared. She goes right up to people at the house, including repair people. She was a little scared of my five-year-old niece recently, but I don't think she'd ever seen a child before. She got over it, though. She enjoys wand toys and chasing the red laser light. Springs are a favorite as well. She also likes being on the counters when she shouldn't be. <laughs> Calliope is much better behaved than Cleo. She is much pickier about people food and stays off the counters unless invited, mostly. She likes to be up high and has gotten on top of the fridge, microwave, bookshelf, and curio cabinet. The curio cabinet is the highest point in the house. She's a lap kitty too, but not as often as Cleo for shorter periods of time. If I have to shift position, she leaves. Cleo just shifts with me. She comes in the bathrooms every time I get out of the shower and yells at me until I pet her. <laughs> they both love pets, okay with being brushed, and love treats. 
Uh, bursts and wellness kittles are their favorite treats right now. When it is time for food, they both get up on the counter and yell for their dinner. I adopted a five-month-old kitten last fall, and it took them a while to get used to her. Dora and Calliope play fairly often. Cleo is less accepting, but tolerates her for the most part. She does whap her occasionally. Dora is a tortie as well, and also likes lettuce. I love all my kitties very much. Love, Diana G, Cleo, Calliope, and Dora. That's wonderful. Thank you. Ah, it's so great to hear how well they're doing, and I'm glad that they have a little sister to play with. That's got to be a lot of fun for them. Uh, it's, it's, it's very cute. I can definitely picture them doing all of that stuff. Uh, thank you for, for keeping us up to date on that. All right. I don't know if this is a letter, but it's big and flat, so we're going to open this next. I think I need the letter opener for this one, though. Uh, a letter opener. Maybe. I'm trying. There we go. Hi, what are you getting into, huh? Whoa. Oh, there was a paper clip in there. Apparently I got it with the letter opener and threw it across the room. Okay. <laughs> I will, uh, I'll have to go retrieve that. <laughs> okay. This is, oh, wow. There's a very generous gift certificate there. I'm going to put it right there for now. There's also a daily pilot times. Uh, serving the coastal cities of Orange County. All right. Disney workers prepare to decide on strike. Okie dokie. This is some cool photos, too. I love it. Cast members for the opening act of A La Mode, The Art of Fashion. Yeah, okay. I guess that is kind of what that phrase actually means, isn't it? Uh, okay. Very cool. I'm excited to take a look at those. Um, so... Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, greetings from sunny California. The letter is long overdue, but I'm finally following through. I'm a retired senior and cat lover. I've been watching your live stream since 2020. I've had many hours of enjoyment watching the kitties on the live stream, and except for Port Orange, who needed no one's assistance, I've watched all the kittens being born. So much fun. I fostered a few litters for the local shelter, but I found returning them to the shelter for someone else to adopt was too difficult. So on my third litter, I officially became a foster failure and adopted them. Boy, I sure know how you feel there because um, one of the big problems that we had at first was having to sort of turn our kittens over for adoption events. And um, one of the shelters that we worked with, uh, you know, way back in the day wanted us to leave our kittens at PetSmart in their little cat zone. And that was heartbreaking. Uh, so um, that is a big part of why we do it this way, where, where we try to get them adopted ourselves on YouTube so we don't have to do that. And so that we kind of know the adopters a little bit usually. Uh, not always, but usually, and that's nice too. It's much easier that way. But uh, we also foster failed our share too. Uh, it happens. I'm glad that you made it to three litters before it happened to you. <laughs> Uh, I've been very impressed with your care of these pregnant mom cats. I watched them arrive frightened, hungry, dehydrated, and at times malnourished. I wonder if they realize how lucky they are and how much their lives have changed now that they've been enrolled at Kitten Academy. I'm pleased to see you provide an abundance of food, water, love, and comfort. I've included a donation to use on mom cat food. If there are occasions where you need to buy prescription food for a sick or underweight cats, it could be used for that. It's up to you. Uh, I've also included two issues of our local paper. I live only a few miles down the road from Laguna Beach. Every summer, I look forward to two traditions. One is the pageant of the masters and numerous local art festivals. The other is the arrival of a herd of goats. California is dry and wildfires are a constant danger. The normal chaparral is, chaparral is always a concern and the goats have been enlisted every year to come eat weeds and grass to their heart's content. The goats dot the cliffs and hillsides and eat everything in sight. It's one of our best weed abatement and fire protection strategies. Both are highlighted in these issues. Oh, that's great. I want to read about that. I love little goats. Um, uh, I don't have a lot of, I guess, firsthand experience with goats, but um, I always think of uh, when I go, have been to visit DJ's uh, house in India, which is in the city, you know, it's definitely, it's less, it's more of a urban place than even our house here is. Um, but there's goats like all over, um, they sort of wander the street and they get in people's yards and they climb up. I'm amazed at what goats 
can climb and get on top of when they seem so stiff like they they don't seem like these like they're not like cats like they're not like all flexible and jumping and stuff but they, yeah, they get on top of everything it's it's really weird um and cool so uh let's see I've, you've got a beautiful picture of, of your two taxis here zoe and abby thank you uh very very much that's fantastic oh uh, and then you've left a little personal note there at the end too about your donation. So thank you so much for that. That is so generous of you. Um, and it, it won't, uh, it, it definitely is, is appreciated and will go to good use. Um, you know, you say, especially for food and, uh, I just bought a new case of our RC mom and baby cat that we frequently like to feed to our moms that have recently delivered or use as our sort of a first food for kittens. And like I was just saying earlier in mailbag, it's, uh, it does tend to give them like diarrhea because it's such rich food, but I also think that it's, you know, those calories can be super valuable to kittens and to mom cats sometimes. Uh, anyway, I just bought a case of it for her because we were running low and uh, whew, man, that stuff uh, is pricey these days. So I, again, I just, I really appreciate it. Um, that's, that's so generous of you. Thank you. Uh, and I'm really excited to read those papers. So thank you for that. All right. Um, let's keep rolling here. All right, I'm gonna have to get out the knife now. Hey, kiddo. Hi. What are we doing? What are we doing, huh? Okay. <laughs> wow, she's going nuts. <laughs> Is she behind? Did she just ran in here and jump straight behind the be the bean bag? Yes, that's what it sounds like. Okay, a polite knife guard. Don't cut me, please. Pretty please. Thank you. Wow. All right, that's cute. Um, there is a note right here on top. Hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. At the time of writing this note, our hazelnut has not produced any kittens, but by the time this parcel reaches you, I sure hope she's delivered her bountiful load of kittens. Congratulations, hazelnut and K.A. Oh, congratulations to our custard, to our custard who looks slimmer. Oh, I see, to our custard who looks slimmer due to, and all due to the telepathic vibes between custard and Trent. Custard has no email address? Uh, custard says, thank you, Trent, for your exercises and diet routine. I will keep at it. Question, where is Custard's cardboard round scratcher bed? Answer, Peaberry? Question mark, question mark. Um, I don't remember the last time that he had a round... Oh, the one that was up here, the one that's like the accordion. Oh, man. I don't think we have any more of those. I think they are all uh, gone at this point. I also, I recently sorted everything in the basement, so I think I would have noticed if we had one. So, uh, yeah, I mean, they get peed on and stuff, so I'm sure that is what actually happened to it. I'd actually forgotten about that bed. I'll have to get him something similar for his room upstairs. Uh, now to the contents of the parcel. A card! Well, it's a card for enjoying. It rocks in more ways than one. Oh, man. Look at these kitties. They are so cute. It's a bunch of cats wearing ties of various sorts. And they are... Let's see if I can figure this out. It's some sort of a pop-up thing, but it looks like there's some assembly required. Pop and rock, I see, because they, they'll kind of move around a little bit. That's what it's all about. Okay, that's why it's built like this. Look at that. They are very movable, and it looks like if I do this, then it does have a sort of a rocking thing to it, so you can sh so it'll, it'll go back and forth, and then, yeah, I see how it works. Okay, here we go, hang on. Okay, this feels like there's, there should be a way for me to... Oh, I guess that's that's the, just for the tabs to go through. Okay, so then we put this like that, and then we go. And then they should kind of move around a little, right? That's cute. And this guy's got his whole tail wagging. Oh, the ones on the end both do. Huh. That's going to be especially fun for Maggie. Uh, let's see. Is there a little thing here that... Am I supposed to pop this up to make it sort of stay where it is? Or... Uh, I can do mechanical stuff. All right. No, I think we got it. I think that's basically it. That's really cute. I've never seen a card like that. Uh, all right. Uh, it rocks in more ways than one. Yes, it does. Okay, KA named rings for gadget and crank. So it is, look at that. Oh, whoa, that's more than just named rings for gadget and crank though. 
Uh, one for gadget, one for crank, plus they have a big, uh, they've got these yellow balls, they've got a yellow spring, they have uh, some sort of, oh, this is one of those like uh, um, a long door hangy type of toy maybe, with a little smiley face on the wooden ball and a button at the end, that's so cute. Okay, um, also included a door, yes, door hanging crocheted spin toy, a doorway spring toy, and a box of chirping balls. Yes, the chirping balls. These are the fun ones too because um, they aren't all like, oh, 99% of those little electronic, you know, like furry toys that you get all make the exact same sound um, no matter what they are. But this set has a bird, a cricket, and a frog in it, and they all make those different sounds. The bird is kind of similar to the one that you're used to hearing, and then the cricket sounds like a cricket, and the frog sounds like a frog. It's really, I like the, that set a lot. It's great. Um, they're also these real, like, soft sort of, uh, not soft, they're like firm, but they're like pith. They're very light uh, balls, pithy. Uh, they're wonderful. Uh, no batteries as Royal Mail will not allow an international mail. I have to put a note in each of their bags to explain where to get the batteries. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. I might even... It's probably like a CR2032 battery. Oh, it says right here on the back. It is not. It's the LR41, uh, which are the same ones that the hex bugs use. So I usually have a ton of them, but the ones we have might be kind of old. Um, I'll, I'll look. I, I can pop some in there if we have them. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have another teaspoon. We do? That must be what's in here. It says number three. Uh, noisy little balls for deployment to do as you see. Oh, these are noisy little balls. Look at that. They've got, a t each one has a, probably a whole bunch of bells in it. I don't know, it sounds like more than one bell, but whatever it is, it's heavy too, so that'll really get moving. You want one of these right now? Look at her. She Boy, if you could see her face. Can you see her face? Oh, come here. I want you to look at this way. Look at that. Look at those eyes. She's got those wild eyes. I love it. Okay, go get it. Oh, that's going to go everywhere. These are great. These are going to be so much fun for the kids. Uh, I love it. Especially the, like, the weight of them makes them great because they'll really go. Ah, nah, I know. I'm shaking the bag. Go get the one that you have. You've got one out there. Do you want a tambourine? <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Noisy little balls for deployment and for you to do as you see fit. Uh, pop tubes. I'm only sending a few so you can try them out with the cats and kittens. I, if you and they like them, I will send more. Oh, I see what I see it. I don't know what it is. We'll find out in a second. I want to see this teaspoon first, if I can. Wow, that's very well protected. Okay, we'll get to the bottom of this. Oh, it's so cute. It's a fat little spoon with a little cat head at the handle side. Um, and the cat is wearing a bow. It is beautiful. And this is also very sturdy. That's nice. Uh, stainless steel, just my favorite. That's fantastic. I hope you can see the little cat head here. I still got a little plastic on his ear. There we go. That's really cute. That'll last a long time and get a lot of use from us. I know, that's perfect for stuff. Um, like um, you like giving little treats with or, or spooning out the baby food or maybe even serving some treats in it. That is sort of broad that way. Pop tubes. Okay, try them out with cats and kittens. All right, well, that's what this is, but I'm not sure how I'm intended to actually use it. That makes a really fun noise, though, doesn't it? Would you play with one of these? What do you think? Oh, you'll play with anything. You're so easy, so wild. What do you think? You like a pop tube? Yeah? Boop. Well, those are fun, I think, so we'll see what the kittens think of them over time. Uh, I tried them out with Kevin who thought I was calling him for food and weirdo who just walked away. That's cute. Biscuits for you and DJ to keep your energy up. Indeed, we have shortbread teddies, which are very cute. they got cute little faces on them. And we have party rings. Wow, these look like frosted cookies, and uh, that sounds really good. All right. And there's more. See inbox. Take care, Charlie. Of course, you guys all knew it was Charlie. Uh, Persian meows for Kevin and Weirdo. 
All right. Oh, a note and, ooh, donuts? Note. Oh, here's more. As stated on Discord, 18 July. Hazelnut and chocolate is one of my favorite things, but please don't send any. I've been a very good boy. So no Cadbury's hazelnut chocolate, but try this. Take care, Charlie. Uh, thank you for taking note of that. And you sent me Fiber One 90 calorie strawberry and cream donuts. Well, those also sound very good. Craving a sweet treat, but watch what you eat. Fiber One 90 calorie donuts. That sounds really cool. I'm excited to try them. Thank you. That should be fun. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Charlie. And uh, say hi to Weirdo and Kevin for me. All right. Let's keep rolling. Uh, what are we doing for boxes here? I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out as we go. Here, this could be like a little springy thing. That'll make it fun, won't it? Ooh. The note. Read me first. Okay. There's another note, too. Hi there, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Argie Loomerson here with an update from Loomerson Plumbing Headquarters. I'm still trying to get this business going. We still haven't had any clients. This may be discouraging to some, but not for me. I'm so excited about life in general, and especially plumbing. And when I'm not doing plumbing work, I spend a lot of time in the fire truck or in other tunnels with Chevy. I don't want you to think your hard work with us didn't pay off. It did. I'm becoming even more super affectionate with my human and mildly so with Chev. I love him. He's just a bit intense with his feelings sometimes. In other news, Chevy's found his voice and wow, what a loud voice he has. He uses it all the time, nonstop. I'm a bit concerned about his ongoing argument he has with the stove. I haven't heard the stove say one mean thing, but Chev yells at it. Even when the human got a new stove, he yelled at the new one. I mean, he just sits in the kitchen and yells. And if human doesn't respond, he puts himself in one of the cabinets or in the fireplace. It's a very peculiar activity, even for a cat. I don't know what he's doing. I tried to ask, but he said it was his personal, private stove matter. <laughs> the human is still the same. She spoils us, she sings, she tells us she loves us all the time. Most importantly, she funds our plumbing company. She says we're the bestest fellas around, and well, I agree. We sent a few things for the Academy. There's a few stickers for you. Note, one may not be mailbag appropriate. It's from Chevy. There is a card for DJ. It's a bit late, but we had to send it. I think you will see why. There's also a super duper rad gift for deployment. It's for Gadget. She's a gal after our hearts. We think she will love this. And it's kind of on theme for the season ish. Please consider us for your plumbing, for any of your plumbing needs. Free services at KA only, 25% off for Discord members and 50% off for alumni. Treats are expected for all services provided. Tell Custard we said hi. He's a really cool dude. Love Chevy and Argy and they're human. That is adorable. Uh, DJ's going to have to read that one when she gets a minute because that is so fun. All right. Let's see about the stuff that you sent here. Uh, this must be the note for DJ. It's a very cute custard looking kitty. It says, I was worried you weren't gonna get a birthday card with a cat wearing a sweater on it. Uh, so here, that's exactly what it is. DJ, happy belated birthday from Chevron, Argyle, and Human. That's very cute and it's got all the stickers in it for me. Orange cat energy. <laughs> He's all napping and stretching. Toe Beans Appreciation Club. Oh, these are great stickers. I may act like I'm okay, but deep down inside, I want more cats. Uh, oh, I see. The, the inappropriate one is, yes, that's actually got a word that I'm not going to say on the stream, but it's very funny. It's cute. Uh, and it is, it's, I think it's even something that I have told cats before, so that's, uh, that's adorable. I will also share that with DJ. There we go. Put those two together. Hi. Okay, now you're going to sit down, huh? Did you wear yourself out? But here is the fun thing that you want us to deploy for her soon. It is a Halloween house tent. Wow. Um, and it's for humans. And guessing from the look of it that it is just like the Popo Sneets house, but the Halloween version, that should be fun. Uh, I do think that she would love to have a house like that. And this one's just full of monsters. It looks very cute. So even though it's not Halloween... Um, from the size of the box and all, it must be, it must be the same size as the Popo Sneets. Oh yeah, I even recognize the bag it comes in. 
looks very similar. Uh, it might be the same sort of folks that, that make it. I mean, after all, it's the same thing with just a different print, right? Oh, this is a nice addition, though. Yes, okay, well, I'm gonna have to put the lid on it, so I'm not gonna do it yet, because the, the roof is a separate piece, but I will do that right after mailbag, because I do think she will really like it. We'll see, though. Especially if I put, like, a, want a toy in it that's gonna run around and make some noise, like the P16, which, by the way, should be charged up for you now. I gotta go get that after mailbag, too. Oh, what a fun idea that would be. Okay, let's see. Uh, thank you so much for that. I'm really looking forward to giving DJ those notes. Oh. Oh, these are under the door toys. This one has bells on it. Um, I recognize what these are because we've had some. Although I don't know where any of them are now. They may have all been kind of used up. I like the one with bells on it though. That'll really get someone's attention. So if you don't recognize these, what you do is you put them under a door with one ball on either side. And that way the cats that can see each other through our glass doors can play with each other through our glass doors. Uh, or they might even be more fun on doors where they can't see each other. But either way, uh, that's a very fun thing. And the note says, one for gadget and the others for as you see fit. Thanks to AJV on Discord for mentioning these. Love watching KA from Catkin63. Uh, Catkin63, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And it is from an Etsy seller called Knit Wit Boutique Ohio. Uh, which appears to be um, kwboh.com, I guess. That's what it says here anyway. So thank you so much, Catkin63. Um, you're going to play with one of those right like that, huh? You just think it's a toy to play with. That's good. Uh, I am going to put one of them. It's a question of which door to put it under, although I think she's all, always at this door, so that's probably the door to choose. The problem is that ever since we moved in, You'll notice that like part of the door bottom is cut away for some reason. We've never figured out where these doors... None of these doors were installed when we moved in. They were all piled in a corner. And so we kind of had to guess like where each door actually belonged. And I don't know that we got it right. Um, so, uh, so it's a real question of like what happened there or if it even happened there. Um, but... I do think she's over there all the time. If she, if they, my, my concern is then that big gap is it's going to mean that this gets pulled out right away. Um, but maybe not. Maybe, it's, maybe it'll fit just fine. Let's try it out. I'm going to put one right here. But she's frequently trying to sort of play under that door anyway. And then the other ones, I think we could use one upstairs for sure. Um, obviously, I gave her the one with the bell over there. So let's keep rolling. Thank you very much. Okay, next up. Ooh, a knife guard, smart. And the note, very smart. Oh, I recognize this is uh, regular. This is, hello, Mr. and Dr. DJ. I uh, hope everyone is going well. Mm, uh, blip, blip. Hope everyone is doing well. Gadget really turned into a kitten and Little Crank is so unbelievably cute. I'm waiting with much excitement for Hazelnut to deliver her sweet little bundles of joy. I am sending my usual mini blanket and toys for Gadget and Crank to take to their forever homes. I've also included some furry mice for each of them. Thank you for all you do for kittens, mom cats, and non-mom cats, and the faculty. From Rose, Tucker, Toby, and Tessa. So, here we go, your usual, like you say, this is for Gadget. And we've got this cute little blanket for her with this beautiful uh, girly sort of uh, cats on it. And then this pink and blue, uh, pink and bluish um, plaid that's really cool. And then on this side, a whole bunch of toys. Not just the furry mice, the real fur mice. That's the high value stuff. We've also got Loganberry's mice. We've got some springs and Charlie balls in here, I see. Some fun tubes. And a catnip, a little miniature catnip kicker. So that's fun. Also, bonus furry mice. These do. These are also real fur mice. That is, like I said, the real high value stuff. One for Gadget, one for Crank. I know you're going to... She's trying to dig into Crank's bag here already. And then for Crank, look at that. We've got this beautiful beautiful sort of calicos cats and then uh, this gray um, sort of uh, uh, pog on the other side. 
very, very pretty. These are fantastic endowments, and those little fur mice are going to do so well. Um, thank you so much for sending those. That's wonderful. Uh, Rose, Toby, Tucker, and oh wait, uh, Tessa. Yes, did I get them all? Yeah, I did. I did. I got it. Okay, cool. Look at that. Okay, uh, it's been an hour, but we're going to push through. There's only four things left. We'll see uh, how quickly we can do this so that I don't spend everybody's time. Oh, uh, Yao Catnip Rainbow. That's a fun one, um, but there is not... There is no kind of note at all. Uh, that's, there's nothing. It's just, um, and it's just a dropship from a merchant called Pamper Pets. So whomever sent this, thank you very much. I know you want it, but you've got enough of your own toys already. Uh, just if you're on Discord, hit me up. Let me know what you wanted us to use it for. Otherwise, we'll just put it to good use. Um, much appreciated. I'll put it right there for now. Don't go taking that, okay? I know you want it, but you've got some. You've already got some. All right. Now this is also a drop shipment that says Joy F on it. So we all know Joy F. Um, let's see what it is. One of the things that you can do, that's what Joy F did here, is if you're sending something that you won't be able to uh, put a note into because the merchant doesn't do that or because they're going to drop ship, just send it to your own name at Kitten Academy with our address and they'll deliver it. That's, you know, like to Joy F at Kit or Care of uh, Kitten Academy. Uh, they'll put it in our box. And this is the Princess Tent, but it is a pineapple princess tent with six sides. Whoa, that is so cool. I haven't seen one that's got six sides before, so it's kind of roundish. Um, we're not going to put that together right now, but I think you get the idea from the instructions what it looks like. And it's in this bright pineapple colors. These are all the little pieces you need to put it together. <gasps> oh, that's going to be so much fun. Oh, and it's much floofier than the regular. Oh, that must be the bottom part. Uh, maybe they gave, it, gave a nice floofy cushion to go inside of it, or no, maybe that's the outside is all floofy. Huh. Well, I'll tell you, as far as like a cat pod goes, I love the idea of something like this because, you know, normal cat pods have the problem that they normally just get sat on and crushed. Uh, they're not so much pods as they are just beds. But the ones that are like this, that's not going to happen. Um, so that should be a lot of fun. I am so excited to see this thing put together, uh, but like I said, I'm not going to do it right this minute. All these instructions, I know how this works. Okay. Uh, Joy F, thank you. How cool. Once again, astounded by the things that exist out there in the world, you know? It's, these days, like anything you can think of, you can have it. Uh, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful world we live in now. Okay. This is addressed to Kitten Academy, but there are notes right here. I can see the notes. Oh, a whole pile of them. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's separate out the notes from the receipts. Wow. Okay. A lot of stuff in here. Fun tubes! Yes, these are fun tubes. One for Crank and Gadget and the others to use as you see fit. Maybe in the Rainbow Room from Sally or SJMB on Discord. Well, you can never have too many fun tubes. I know these guys have at least one around here, but they are a lot of fun. And these ones have little catnip uh, things stuffed in the middle of them, which is a little bonus. So I will put one out right now. The Rainbow ones are oop, very pretty. Here, you want this in your tunnel? Check that out. What is it? What is it? What? Okay. Let's move this again so you can see her in there a little bit. Uh, okay, so that's the fun tubes. We'll put the other two over here for the moment. A ball tower. Oh, and is, this, is that what this is? That can't be what this is. Like many, I've adored Teaspoon since he appeared as a tiny, though his health, through his health issues and finding his forever home with you and DJ from Sally, SJMB on Discord. 
I don't think that's what this is. This is a smart toy. It looks very cool though. Huh, I haven't seen this one before. I love seeing new techie toys. Maybe the ball tower is in a separate uh, thing or maybe it's a tiny little ball tower. Is this it? <gasps> funny, this is so funny. Is that really what this is? Oh, oh, how about that? That's so cool. Um, okay, let's keep reading notes because I don't necessarily know what's what. Uh, we have balls. That's these ones that look like the little atoms. One for crank to deploy. Others as you see fit. Well, this will go great with their Halloween tent. So we'll give them this purple and orange one. Uh, many thanks to you and DJ for all you do for mom, cats, kittens, and faculty. They bring me such happiness every day from Sally. Again, SJMB. All right, Sally, thank you. Uh, this is, these are wonderful. Those are fun little toys. Uh, what I was seeing is this it says it's a magic organ, um, which is, you know, the same sort of thing we were just talking about for custard. In fact, they have a picture of custard's bed. Uh, uh, oh, no, it's not. This is a picture of this. That's fine. Anyway, um, this is just as popular. I mean, this, this thing, we've had one of these here before, and it was a smash hit with everybody the entire time. So I know that'll be a hit. Um, let's see, the interactive tail game, that's this one. For little Crank, please deploy so she has a friend's tail to play with. Crank has been such a delight and is so cute. She does cope extremely well with Gadget. Cope with a Gadget, I love it. Uh, from Sally. Perfect. Okay, uh, I'm probably going to have to charge it or put in batteries. It says please remove batteries, though, so let's see if there are any in here. We could try to put it out right now if it came with batteries. That would be convenient. Um, there are cut lines on the box. You can poke these po pieces out to make holes in the box, and it's another toy. You just made a toy box for your cat. Oh, interesting. Oh, I see that. Well, that's a fun toy, too. Oh, look at that. That's got a weird shape to it. Hmm. Can I poke this out? I don't know if I can, but I can. Am I going to do it? No, I don't, I don't think I'm going to do this. I'm just making it look bad. I get the idea, though. There we go. That works better. I love it that uh, the Migi Paws do this with their boxes. They make the boxes also toys. We've got a fair number of things from that brand. And... Uh, that's, that's just an extra little bonus thing. It shows that they really like cats, doesn't it? That's what I think anyway. So there we go. Now we've got the box turned into a toy of its own that needs a little, it needs a little ball in there to go with these. Um, oh, where'd that, oh, so she kicked it over there. Well, one of these would also be perfect for this. Let's put one of these in here. Right now. Oh, you wanna try it? Okay, try it. Oh. Oh, wow. She was right on that. Uh, let's see. Huh. I see how this works, but uh, wow, not what I expected. Oh, well, I don't know if it has batteries. Let's... It does not yet. Okay, so we'll, we'll add some batteries. Now that's interesting. There's a little, there's little hooks here so that you can like stick it onto something. Maybe so you can hang it on the wall. Yeah, I see. It's got, it's got a little provision for hanging it from the wall if you want it to be a wall toy. Now that's cool. It can go this way on the wall, or it can go this way on the wall. Uh, that is a fun idea, and I can see it's got one tail in it and a spare little tail here. I'm so excited to see this thing going. We'll get it. We'll get some batteries in it after mailbag. We'll put that in the after mailbag pile. Um, I just want to see: is there? There's an on-off button, but there's also a power button. What does that do? Uh, does it say control switch, start switch, control switch, and a start switch separately? Huh? Uh, maybe that's what we should have done. Should we try that real quick? I don't think there are batteries in it, though. It's too light. There's, but let's just see. On for that. Play. I see a button that says play. No. Okay. Good. We'll come back to it. Put that in there for storage. Okay. Uh, I lost your pile of notes, didn't I? Where did I set them? Here they are. Okay. The interactive game for Crank. The felt wand. Is that? Is this the felt wand? I guess it doesn't look much like a wand, but it is felt. It's nice. 
To use four endowments or as you see fit, I've watched since the, since the Kahooligans in my first birth was puddles in the tiny tubs. I've watched every birth since whenever, whatever the time. I'm a complete fangirl from Sally. Um, and then the fun tubes were back too. Okay, good. So this must be the ball tower. And I wouldn't call it a tower, but it's an excellent ball track. I know Teaspoon is going to love this thing. If you haven't seen one and don't know what I'm talking about, um, it is like you see like a cardboard accordion and then there's um, a groove in it so it's shaped like a U. The ball goes in the groove and then you can attach the two ends to each other because there's magnets in them. Boink! Just like that. And uh, you might recall seeing one of these around before and you can turn it so that it sits like this, like a ball track, or so it sits like this, like a, like a ball tower. Or you can have the whole thing inside. It's crazy. Look at that. Isn't that cool to see? Oh, here, let me do it the other way. It looks even cooler. Hang on. Uh, you are sitting right in the way. You're sitting right in the way. Let them see how cool this is first. You can see how cool it is later. It's like, uh, I don't know, like a jellyfish or something. I love it. And uh, the cats will love it too. Little Teaspoon is going to think this is a wonderful toy. And then this is little felt balls and a felt octopus, which is really cool. He's got little eyes and uh, little rainbow octopus legs or squid, I guess. I don't know. Is this more of a squid? I don't You could go either way on that, couldn't you? Hi, I know. You want to play with everything. You want to just be a toy sampler, don't you? You would be great as a toy tester. Uh, so that's really nice felt, though. And I love the little rainbow legs on the octa squid. Octa squid? I'm going to go octopus on that thing. I think it's octopus. All right. That's where I'm going. Fantastic. Oh, Sally, SJMB on Discord. Thank you so much. What a great set of toys for the kids. They are going to love them. I can't wait to see Teaspoon with that magic organ is what they call it for some reason. Some of you might remember that from when we had one before. Magic organ. Uh, I think he's really going to like this. So I'm excited to see him with it. Finally, we have a one last box from Pound Cake, also from uh, Leah's mom and Snoop's buddy, whom I'm assuming are Pound Cake's family that we got to meet um, at KA Con. Ye olde Pound Cake. All right, now come on, don't put your tail right where I'm doing the knife. Oh, and a note right on top and some beautiful blankets I see already. So let's start here. Yeah, I can talk when I got my hand in my mouth. Okay, let's see here. This is a beautiful little uh, white kitty looking all happy, laying in some grass. And it says, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, hi, here are some more blankets for all the new little ones and their moms. We hope they enjoy their naps and so on, I think, maybe. These are bigger than the ones I sent last year. Uh, enjoy the babies, Leah's mom, uh, Pound Cake, and Snoop's buddy. That's sweet. All right. Uh, there's also another sort of note here. Ah! <gasps> This is so cool! Oh, DJ's gonna love this. This is a card that you made at KACon, I assume. Uh, even with an envelope, like, we, we could never send this to anybody. I don't know why you put the envelope in here. That's ridiculous. This is not a card for sending to someone. Oh, it's also, it's inside. Uh, dear, dire, boop, Dr. DJ and Mr. A, we want you to know that we have been watching out for your wild child, your devoted admirers, Snoop's buddy, Leah's mom, and Pound Cake. This is a teaspoon driving down the road, and I love that you've used little Charlie balls to make the exhaust from his, from his teaspoon car. That's so clever. That's just really, really clever and wonderful. I love it. I'm going to put it back in the plastic wrapper because this needs to be preserved. It needs to go into our cabinet of special art. Uh, if I can get it back in the wrapper, how did you do that? There we go. Maybe that's what the envelope is good for, to use it as like something to slide in there first to get the card on top of. All right, look out for those little Charlie balls. There we go. It's funny how there's still Charlie balls after all these years. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie's a big grown-up cat now. All right, that's fine. That's just the way things work. Uh, that's so cool. All right. And as you say, the blankets, these are, oh, these are going to be wonderful. I'm going to love seeing them. I recognize this print. We just saw this in here. Didn't we? Very cool. Ah, it all comes together, doesn't it? 
That's a beautiful blanket. I love this gray smiling kitties. One of them is winking. Here we've got foxes and bears and turtles and elephants and squirrels. Wow, that's a lot of different animals all in one. Oh, and a deer and a rabbit. Wow, that's everybody. Okay. Uh, we've got koala bears with baby koala bears. Why is the baby koala bear yellow? Who knows? Maybe it's his teddy bear. No, because it's climbing on his head. It's climbing all over him. Hmm. Well, it's cute, whatever that's about. <gasps> oh, no. Is this really what's in this box? Oh, I love this stuff. Wow, I didn't even know they made a set like that. All right, I'll show everybody in a second. Here we've got a farm scene that's really cool. I love all the little details in a duck pond and the, the little sheep and the pigs in the mud. They look so happy like pigs in mud. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's really cute. I love that. Uh, this is a zoo animals or maybe uh, exotic animals. We've got alligators, zebras, monkeys, giraffes. Uh, what looks like a toucan maybe? Hi, are you having fun? Do you want to wrestle this? Okay, there you go. <laughs> uh, we've got this cute print that's got foxes and squirrels and deer on it also. So we've got a very themed thing going on here. Oh, there's so many more. Wow, I didn't think there would be so many more. Here we've got a jungle full of animals. I don't know how well you can see that with her sitting right in the way, but that's okay. And then we've got a set more of them. We've got this uh, elephants. There we go. These are nice. These are going to be so great for the babies upstairs. Polka dots. Frogs. Oh, wow. Little tree frogs. Those are so cool. Hi. Oh, you want the frog, huh? Okay. Wow. You want to play with everything. Do you ever slow down? Ever, ever? Uh, more polka dots. Different kind. I like those too. Uh, more elephants. Now this one's a repeat. I think this is the first repeat in the bunch. And oh, finally, my favorite, a rainbow. Look at that, a nice pastel rainbow. Perfect for like the kittens or a rainbow room or any, all of the above. Uh, that's beautiful. And then finally, the thing that had me stunned uh, and excited, Pocky. Ooh, that's heavy. Man, there's a lot of Pocky in here. Uh, chocolate, strawberry, and cookies and cream, all three. Man, these things are so good. Hmm. I am excited. I really like these. Uh, and I guess I can kind of snack on them a few at a time because they come in those individual packages, but then you eat the whole package at once, don't you? It's not like you can open one of those up and then put it away. That's not a thing. That's not a thing. Does anybody do that? I don't think so. Nobody's got that kind of willpower. Uh, thank you to everybody who sent everything. This has been a wonderful mailbag. Uh, little Crank, I think, just wore herself out right away. She's taking a nap over here now in her tunnel. But uh, Little Gadget, of course, never slows down. Not once, not ever. Um, let me get some of this stuff put away. We'll pop up that pop-up and see what she thinks of it. And, uh, well, that'll have been mailbag. So thank you so much. Let me take this to Teaspoon right now. And take these to DJ right now. And I'll take this over where I would find batteries and set it down and forget about it because that's what I do. Oh, the teaspoon. Okay, hang on. All right, I will be back. I'm going to go out this way because I can open the door with one hand. Oh, I got to turn off this microphone too. Let me do that before I forget and say something embarrassing. Oh!
down if you want to put it somewhere. Okie dokie. Uh, now let's see, these three boxes go downstairs for now. Uh, actually, this one can go upstairs. Move that on the stairs. Big morning. Oh, run away, run away! <gasps> All right, that's everything put away. Now this is too big to go in this room, but I guess we'll have to put it over there in the uh, in the other room. Yeah. 
numbers and it would go pretty well too, huh? Right off. Where did I